All right, so there's the next next project boat. And does anybody know what that boat is? It's a catch rig. Does it look familiar? It's a Allied Sea Wind. I'm pretty sure it is. Because I sat here and rattled my brain for a year trying to figure out what it is. And I couldn't figure it. But this boat is in lingo. There's no title. So let's get a closer look at it. And I'm going to try to clean it up some to where and get there's water in it. And you'll see what's going on when we go inside. But this boat was built in the Catskills in New York. And this boat, not this boat particular, but this, this model was the first fiberglass boat to sail around the world. And I don't know if it's this is a 30 footer or a 32, but I brung some stuff. So I got my generator and a battery charger and a pump, a bilge pump, and a tape measure. So we'll measure it. Let's measure it and see if it's a 30 foot or a 32 foot ally. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this gorilla gorilla tape and I'm gonna stick it onto this pump and see if it'll hold. I think it'll do it. I think it'll do it. Cause there's probably, I bet there's two, 300, 200 gallons of water in that in that boat it's it's right at the top of the floorboards so there must be there must be a way it's getting out once it gets to a certain height or it'd be fuller the boat would be more there'd be more water in the boat and that generator right there it's brand new never used it it's been sitting in my boat for Two years two or three years we're gonna see if it starts up simple simply anyway it's kind of cold out here it's probably like 40 degrees maybe 38 so let's see if this thing will start Brand new. All right. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna plug that. I'm gonna plug that battery charger into that, and then I'm gonna hook it up to that bilge pump because it's 12 volt. I'm gonna stick it in the boat, and we're gonna suck the water out. Before I measure it and see what it is, let's get the water, the bilge going and get the water out and then we'll go ahead and see if it's a 30 or 32 footer. Super disgusting down here. So I don't know what happened to this boat or how it got in this condition but you're gonna to have to have some carpentry skills to be able to put this boat back together so let's get this pump going see it's already starting to take some of the water out 
So I think we're, we're going to have to get the water down and there's a trap door somewhere in there to be able to get even lower to get all the water out. So let me get this done and get all the water out and then we'll talk about the boat. All right. So I have the water down below the floorboards and that's as good as I'm going to make it. You can't get the water. See that there's a tank there that sets down low into that bilge. There's no way to access it lower. So that's about as much as water I can get out of it. This boat you'd have to totally gut out. And look, I don't understand why such a nice boat turned into this. What happened to the guy? Did he die? And the boat died with it? Because everything is here that matches. So sunglasses, tools, stuff to work, you know, just every utensils. It's just like the guy up and left and that was it. Look, it's got the chart books. The sails are still here. The winch handles. Everything's still here. It's just like he just up, left, when he left, or whoever left, the boat died with him, or the dream died with him. And look what happens to a boat that only has water in the bilge. And look at the moisture from just condensation and humidity. What happens to old boats that have been it's just crazy even up up here it's just nothing look at that look at that it's just ridiculous look at that it's just soaking wet I don't know how it gets so wet other than the condensation soaked it up in here from just the humidity but it's everywhere it it, it destroyed everything even here look at this There's nothing you can save in here. You have to gut this boat. I think I, I could do it. But you got to find the right guy that's willing to take it on. And I don't think it's that much work. I think if you, if you were good at carpentry, you just need a table saw, a jigsaw, some plywood, varnish, exterior screws. I think you can make it happen. But like I said, the I wouldn't tackle this to where I'm trying to put all this back together to exactly the way it was. I think I would replace these bulkheads back the way they were and I'd take this whole front out and turn it into a place just for sales and storing my ropes and all that stuff. And I'd make maybe one of the, and then I'd sleep here or here and clean all and get and redo all this and then take all that out and redo it and make the and put it back together. But I don't know, you guys. You tell me if you think this is even worth doing. So let's take a quick walk around on these decks. I think these decks have balsa in them and you know they're I they're not they're not soft but you can feel they're delaminated from the from the balsa or what what, what what's in there and there's stress cracks there but you know this is a project boat by the what the what's going on with the interior if there's any structural damage or any structure that needs fixed where these masts are, that's not going to be a big deal because you're going to have everything out. You're going to gut it. It's not that little of a boat. 
I'm just going to walk around and let everybody kind of get an idea. And it's got a nostalgic feel to it. I like it. So there's the front of the boat with the tape measure. So from right there and then straight down, let's walk up to the back. Who wants to guess if it's a 31 or a 32? I think it's a 30. So there's the back and then straight down. What is it? Right there. 30 foot. So there's no mistaken. 32 is way up there. It's a 30 foot allied sea wing. That's what it is. 